Number 13, Terry Kloshis. Number 14, Marae Richdell. Number 16, Ali Deal. Number 18, Hannah Abel. Number 19, Haley Gancello. Number 23, Amara Fruckman. And in goal for the Vikings, number 30, Anna Lopez. Tape is coached by Lindsay Underwood, assisted by Lee Rupar, Bruce LeBou, Drew Nessick, Anna Frederick, Chelsea Briscoe, and Eva Walsh. To Kate Girls Across Team is dedicating tonight's game to the life and legacy of Morgan Rogers, a former Duke University lacrosse student athlete who died tragically in July 2019 after battling mental health struggles. Although Morgan's life was cut way too short, her legacy of unconditional love remains. Morgan's message was created by her family and former teammates with the mission to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health, normalize the conversations about mental health, and ensure that mental health is treated equally to physical health for all student athletes. For more information on Morgan's life and legacy and how you can help those with mental health struggles, please visit morgansmessage.org. You can also visit the table near the shed to buy a shirt and support and learn more. 100% of proceeds from t-shirt sales and any donations will be given to Sean's house on the campus of the University of Delaware. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats for a moment of silence and remembrance of Morgan Rogers, followed by our national anthem. Not even moving. Yeah. Just announce like, whoever lost their phone. There. <laughs> that one's like dead still. It's almost like somebody's got something wrapped around. Is that the camera? Hello, sports fans. Welcome to Champion, Sh Champion Stadium and tonight's Delaware sports media presentation of Cape Henloop and Vikings Girls Lacrosse. I'm your host, Bob Uffelman. I'm joined by the Delaware sports media broadcast team, cameraman Ethan Jack. Our sideline cinematographer, Jeff Trench, is on special assignment. So we have his son, Mason, covering some duties, along with uh, our intern, Mikey Thompson. Mason and Mikey handling the sideline duties. What could go wrong? Our producer is Matt Morgan, and tonight we're joined by our color analyst, John Rischko. Both teams enter tonight's game undefeated. Cape has defeated some strong out-of-state competition. Seahawks have defeated Tattnall 12-9. John, I'm going to put you on the spot right away. I say these are the two best teams in the state. What do you say? Yeah, thanks, Bob. Definitely uh, top top three or four teams in the state, and Tattnall being the reigning champs, I think uh, Sass knocking them off last weekend definitely puts them right at the top of the conversation. Cape is hungry. A lot of seniors on Cape's roster. Uh, Sass and Cape undefeated. A lot of similar stats. Should be a good game. Players are taking the field. Starting in the goal, as usual, for the Vikings, we've got Anna Lopez. Seems like Anna's been around here for a long time. She's a three-year starter. Even when she was a freshman, she split a lot of time with Destiny. 
one of the keys to Cave's defense. Getting ready to draw right now. Who's taking the draw, John? Looks like Shelby Manlove and Lulu Rishko on the circle for Kate Murray Rishko and Allie Deal. Here we go. Ball's on the ground. Seahawks come up with it. Savannah Montgomery on nice ground ball pickup. 17, Elizabeth Merrick. They get the call, ball across midfield, across the 30. They'll settle in here, see what Cape does. Looks like Elizabeth Merrick, 17. Shelby Manlove, 16. Elizabeth Layton. Emily Bissaha, lefty. Strong with the left hand down the alley. Good defense. Kate matching up man to man. Callie Short, number 20. Marked up. Hannah Abel for Kate. Nice pass, Callie. Nice Worm save, burner Anna. goes wide. Nice save. I think Anna got a piece of that. Shea Danahy with the ball. That was a nice feed. Tries to find Cutter across the middle. Cape comes up with it. Allie Deal, nice ground ball pickup. She's fast. Allie is fast, my goodness. Allie across the 30. Feeds the Lindsay. Ball's on the ground. Seahawk ball. Nice defense. Number 26, Savannah Montgomery. Knock that one down. That's two key plays on defense right out of the gate. Bissaha, number five. Seahawks are going to settle it down. I think Sussex Academy wants to run some clock here, keep their legs fresh. I don't know if they're as deep as Cape this year. Cape's got 13 seniors. Allie Short looking. Nobody open. Allie Deal on defense. That's Mara Fruckman, 23, on Bissaha. Nice take. Shot high. Good backup, number 13, Brylin Lehman. So when the ball goes out, closest to the ball when it goes out, her stick was there. Callie works her way through. Bouncer goes high. One-handed grab. I don't know if that hit hit the goalie or the pipe. Grace Wiggins, number 11. Looks like Cape will settle in. Move it around. Claire Lopez. Claire dumps it into the middle. Mishandled. Pick Comes back out to Claire, though. She finds Lindsay, shot the score. Nice play there. 8.50 left to go in the first period. Yeah, it looked like that first pass was, was kind of congested in there and Cape had a nice ground ball pickup. Back out to Claire, hit Lindsay for the finish. Let's see if we get another look here. That's okay. <laughs> we'll get it next time. Looks like Lulu Rishko getting ready to draw. Shelby Manlove on the circle for Cape. You got Murray Rishko, Ali Deal. And for Sussex Academy, 17, Elizabeth Merrick. You can't see the number on the far side. Good day. Marie comes up with that one. Good hustle. Nice hustle play. Ground balls, draw controls. The lifeblood of lacrosse. Now Sussex Academy likes to play a zone defense against Tattnall. They played man-to-man -man for the first time in a while. It looks like they're man-to-man -man right now, Bob. Claire goes hard right. She's thinking about it. Feeds in, shot to score. Very cautious. Five, 
Looks like Claire looked to roll the crease there. Wasn't there for her. Carey timed her cut nicely. Nice catch, nice finish. Fun fact, Carrie Klosh is 18 years old today. Oh, happy birthday, Carrie! Along with Lulu Rishko. Is that right? Yeah, right next door to wow. each other in the hospital <laughs> at BB Hospital here in Lewis, Delaware. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu back can. out for the draw. Yeah. Close on the ground. Cape comes up with it. 14, Great. Ray Rishko. Shot and is another score by Carey. Cautious. Seven fifty-seven left to go in the first period. Three nothing, Cape. It's now. Cape wants to play fast. You're okay though. You don't have to come. Cape won that that ground ball. And they push the pace. They're going to try to wear the Seahawks out here. So come on down. All right. Looks like Shelby's winning the pull on the draw. She's getting it to where she wants. It's just a ground ball battle out in open space there. Seahawks come up with that nice one. Nice pickup, Savannah. Oh, but a great interception. Grace Wiggins. Grace is so Balls on the ground. long. Her defense is great. I mean, she can just, I've seen her reach over people to win draw controls. Quick restart. Cape with possession. Lizzie behind the cage. Playing quarterback. It's a back up top to Lulu. Carry. She's thinking about a hat trick. Beats it back. Shot and a score. Lulu gets hers. Happy birthday. That was the birthday connection there. It was a nice drive here by Carey. She kind of draws the double team. You watch 13 slide, and Lulu's open. She breaks right after. Finishes the shot. Timeout on the field. Seahawks need to slow this down a little bit. They want to regroup. Starting to get away from them. 7-18 left to go in the first period. I think they're doing what they want to do on the draw. They're winning the draw to where they want. They're winning the ground balls. They're just easy. Yeah. yeah. Can't give it away. Mm -mm. We appreciate the generosity of the local small businesses in helping us get these biking broadcasts out. We've got a great group of sponsors, and we hope that you'll support them too. One of our sponsors, Love Creek Elementary. Tomorrow is their vendor fair. 10 to 3, over 60 vendors, plus farm animals, a bounce house, food trucks, face painting, and more. Love Creek Elementary Vendor Fair, tomorrow. <laughs> Lulu back at the X. And you can see some of the... Girls on the circle here. The other midfielders have moved to this side where Shelby seems to be pulling it. So let's see if she tries to push it this time to a different spot. Lula wins it. Taking her time, surveying. Balls of ground. Nice back up for Mara. Yep. Couple freshmen on the field for Cape. Yeah, I think there's four freshmen in the starting lineup. Wow. <laughs> How is that even possible? Turnover. I don't know if she stepped out or the ball went out. Start with the goalie ball here. Cape on the ride. Clearing pass goes high and out of bounds. Cape ball. Unlucky. Here they come. Alley deal, 16. So she was fouled in the A meter inside the arc. She'll get a free position shot at the center hash here on the goal on the uh, official's whistle. 
She's got some space around her. I'm assuming she's going to take this shot. I'm thinking she has she has the green light. Outruns everybody. Ooh, nice save. Great save by the goalie. Holy cow, right at the doorstep. Can be Seahawk ball. Let's see if they can clear it here. Morgan Lieber in the goal for the Seahawks. 37 saves on the year coming into tonight's game. Ball's down. Nice pickup. Seahawks maintain possession. They're going to call that for a little chin music. Quick start. Ball's on the ground, gets picked up. Oh, watch out behind you. Yeah, yeah. Nice check by number two. Elizabeth Layton. Grace didn't even see it coming. No. That's where your teammates kind of have to help you out a right. little bit, right? Let yep. you know somebody's coming. Communication. I'm not sure what the whistle is here. Back to Cali behind the cage. Seahawks need to get something out of this one. Nice. Good stop. Yeah, Lopez. Shelby's tough. As soon as she gets those hands free, she can get a shot. Mm -hmm. She's so she's got such a long reach, she can usually get that shot. Give her a couple inches. Good D. Mm -mm. Unlucky, unlucky. Whistle. Uh, it's going to give it back to Sussex Academy, I think. Not sure what the call was. Lots of discussion. Shay Dan, he has it on the far spot back there. Gotcha. Falls down. A bouncer. Oh, mm -hmm. nice, nice ground ball. Shooting space. So if she has a chance to shoot there and somebody's in her path and it's a dangerous position where they could get hurt and she doesn't shoot, this is a shooting space. So they get a free position on right on the 8 meter. Center hash. Nice spot. I think she's going to rip this. Yep. Nice shot. Four score. The Seahawks get on the board. 2.57 left to go in the first period. 4-1 your score. Seahawks needed that one. Stay within reach. Tough one to stop. Is that Anna taking the uh, draw for the Vikings? It looks like Anna Sullivan. Yep. Number 15. Uh-huh. Grace Wiggins and Amara Fruckman on the circle for Cape. Nice. nice. Grace Wiggins, nice draw control. Look up behind you. Shot score. Grace does it all by herself on that one. Makes it 5-1. Nice draw control. That defender at the top of the 12 or the 8 there's really got to stop the ball and try to make her pass it to somebody. Mm-hmm. Same lineup. Looks like Shay Danahy's on the circle now. Giving somebody a break. Cape comes up with it again. Instant replay. That was a nice draw. Anna ripped that thing. It's Haley Gamasello, freshman. Avery Miller checking in. 
This is Cape's second midi line here. They're trying to keep fresh legs. Here comes Claire. And a score. 216 left to go. Claire makes it 6-1. Nice shot by Claire. I mean, she drew that defender out. The defender wants a player tight to try to deny her the ball, but then she just over-pursues a little bit, and Claire lets it rip. That's all it takes. Top and not corner. much of an angle. No, she's got a good shot from there. Shelby switching sides here. Three in a row for Anna. Nice yep, job. She's doing a nice job out there. Claire takes it back to X. Lindsay's coming hard. Pulls it up. Let's see if Kate runs some clock here. Or if they keep going fast. Minute left. Minute 50. Feed into the middle. Haley Gamicello, nice shot on the backdoor cut. Just hit the pipe. Seahawk ball. Here they come. Quick start. Good hustle, Avery. Double team. Puts the ball on the ground. Anna comes up with it. Nice hustle out of the cage there by Anna Lopez. Saw that ball on the ground and jumped on it. Nice clearing pass. Landed deal. Cape across midfield. Now across the 30. Haley Gamasella. Nice clear by Landon. Looks like Macy Steinwettel checking in on offense. Ref making a call here. I'm not really sure what I saw there. Could be like a mouthpiece or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Good hustle on the ride. Seahawks get across midfield. Nice clear. Setting up their offense. Skip pass. Five seconds. Ball down. And that is the end of the first period. Your score. The Vikings six, the Seahawks one. Sussex Academy has had some opportunities there. They need to capitalize. They, they've been down in the, the offensive zone a, f a fair amount of time, but uh, strong D by the Vikings. Yeah, Cape's D is held up. One of our sponsors, the Rusty Rudder. This weekend forecast on the rudder deck is sunshine with a 90% chance of nachos. There'll be a beautiful sunset, followed by a dark front moving in with scattered music at night. Tonight, it's Kono Nation, followed Saturday by the Gab Sync Band, the Rusty Rudder, Dewey Beach, USA. And Hooked on Plants Garden Center. Lacrosse season means gardening season. Hooked on Plants Center is open. They're brimming with beauty. Just got a big delivery of vegetables and herbs. The uh, basil looks fantastic. Mark your calendar next Wednesday, the 17th, from noon to 1.30, starting a vegetable garden class. Learn how to plant a garden that combines flowers, herbs, and vegetables. Everything's edible. Hooked on plants on Route 9, just west of the intersection with Route 5 and Harbison. You can also find them on Facebook and Instagram. Hooked on plants, GC. Good turnout tonight. Oh, yeah, great crowd. A lot of these kids grew up together, Bob. I mean, they all yeah. played Atlantic lacrosse together. They all know each other. A lot of them went to elementary and uh, middle school together. Yep.
something to be said for Atlantic Lacrosse that they can put out this number of really good players. Players taking the field for the second period, switching sides. And a Sullivan back out to take the face off. The draw. Used to those the draw boys. control. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey, that's Used fair. Used to those boys' games. Well, the boys, the the uh, the girls' game now called the uh, man up situation a power play. Power play. Yeah, just yes. like in ice hockey. New terminology, always evolving. Looks like Anna's on the draw for Cape. You got Lulu and Allie on the circle, and then uh, Seahawks have Shelby, Emily Bissaha, and Elizabeth Merritt. There we go. Alley deal, nice ground ball pickup. Oh, Lulu. Picks up the ground ball, feeds it back to Claire. Lindsay looking for a cutter. Creates a little space. Shot score. Nice tuck underneath. Lindsay D drew the defender out. She thought she was going to pass it up top. She just tucked it and went inside. Inside. John, I think it's been about seven years. You and I were both coaching YMCA girls basketball. Sounds about right. I had Lindsay on my team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lindsay, nice little lefty. Love to have her on your team. 11.30 to go. You know, just point of interest, Sussex Academy was down to Tattnall 5-1 at the end of the first period. Is that right? Saturday, yeah, they, uh. they fought back. So it's it, by no means is this out of reach. Cape with the ball. Anna to Grace. Cape bringing in some new people here. Haley Gamicello coming out of the box. Anna runs off, almost like a face-off person for the boys game. Mm -hmm. Claire. Right up top. Lulu feeds into the middle. Shot and a score. Sister, sister. Maraid with the score from the assist off of Lulu. Nice little two-man game here or two-woman two game. They uh, Lulu drew the double team again. Maraid cut when she had to. Nice little pump fake. Pulled the goalie high. Shot it low. How many times did they practice that in the backyard? Well, I don't – not enough. <laughs> Spoken like a coach. <laughs> Anna? I'll tell you what, Anna Sullivan Anna, is Anna, doing Anna, a great job on the draw. A very good night. She's really controlling. Lulu down to Claire. Back over to Lindsay. They're going to set up their offense. Claire, she comes left. Ooh, off the mm. pipe. Nice dodge. Went left, went right, back to left. I think she shot that lefty. She's right-handed. Seahawk ball. They get across midfield. Lots of pressure. Ball's on the ground. Keep Out. up with it. Alley deal. Nice defense. Nice little stick check. Kept her in front. Picked up the ground ball. Over to Haley Gamasello, her partner in crime.
Lindsay looking. Back up top to Lulu. She goes hard right. Back to Lindsay. Looking for a cutter. Claire getting close to the crease. Feeds into the middle. Shot to score. Alley deal. That was a great catch. Nice pass, too. I mean, Nice oh. pass. Put it up high where only Alley could catch it. Hard, hard grab between. I saw a lot of sticks up there. I mean, she, she snagged that thing. 9.15 left to go in the half. 9-1 Cape. So, John, the clock only stops not when the ball goes out of bounds. I'm like, uh, on a goal. On a goal. Okay. That's correct. So, gr girls' rules switched a little bit. They're constantly evolving, as you know, probably. They switched to four quarters a couple years ago, followed, followed the college game a little bit. Looks like uh, Seahawks are putting Emily Bissaha on the circle here to take the draw, try something different. They got to win one here. Lulu comes up with it. Nice draw again, Anna. Lulu, nice ground ball. Claire. Back up top. Allie. Back to Lulu. Who's that in the corner back there? That's Haley. She's a lefty. Plays on that right side attack. Claire goes left. Feeds into the middle. Shot and a score. Claire finds Lindsay. Nice look. Capes having success inside, moving the ball around. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the Seahawks switch to his zone here, try to mix it up a little bit. Got to do something. Yeah, yeah. 10-1. Still a lot of time left to go in the half. Capes winning the draw. That's the big difference right now. I mean, they've had a lot more possession, especially the second quarter. Nice finish by Lindsay. Nice feed by Claire. Anna's going to stay out there for the draw. Seahawks are running the same midfield right here, so i, I got to think maybe those tired. guys are getting a little tired. Yeah. It's a lot of running. Up, up. Lulu comes up with it. In college, they track how much you run. They wear these catapults. Okay. And I think uh, – some of the numbers from some of the midfielders I heard from my daughter's team are like six miles in one game. Off the post. Nice pass, nice shot. Got to get that in the net, though. Nice pickup by Shelby. Clear hustle it. by, is that Haley on D? Good hustle. Haley and Alley, yep. Yeah. Whistle. Quick start on the whistle. Seahawks got to hold it here for a second and just pause. Run some clock, get a good shot. That was good hustle uh, by Montana to get back in position off yep. that uh, whistle earlier. Whistle on Fruckman. A little push. Got our arms out too far? I think they say when you extend your elbows past yep. your body, if your stick's not hor uh, vertical and if it's horizontal and it's like a cross check in ice hockey, they will call that. They tell you to keep your stick between 10 and 2 o'clock, just like 18's doing right now, Hannah Abel. I think the ref disagrees with you there, John. Well, <laughs> He's going a cross check. There was, there, was, there was some contact, you know. <laughs> some refs like contact, some don't. Callie was not going to be denied. She was going to get where she wanted to get. That's right. Shot. Score. Nice shot. Callie short. Callie short. Headed yeah. to Lynchburg to play field hockey. Yeah. Found the back of the net. Just under seven minutes left to go. 10-2 the count. They needed that. So Cape gets the adjacent hash. They try to crash on that, but Cali got the shot off too quick. Usually it's two steps and fire it. Anna back at the X. They're going to play that one. Whistle. Quick start coming the other way. Whistle on Cape. Empty stick check, maybe. 
Seahawks got a chance here. Close this gap. Good dig. Bouncer. Shelby comes up with it. Cape defense is doing a good job sliding and helping on Shelby. She's tough to guard one on one. And a score. Nice shot. Emily Bissaha. That was good defense. Avery was right on her hip, but she was able to get her hands free. Yep. And found the corner. Emily likes to go downhill left side. or Yeah, left side. If she can get a shot, get a step on you, she's going to fire it. That was nicely done. Not bad defense at all. No, no, she was right there. but uh, You almost need a little help on that, though. Yeah. From experience, yes. <laughs> Sussex Academy creeping back. Yeah, I wish you hadn't told me about that comeback against Patmo. <laughs> I was feeling pretty good about things till then. <laughs> Keep on playing. Nice pick up, Amara Fruckman. Pushing the pace a little. Shot to score. Claire, Claire Lopez. Lopez. Yep, nice. If she catches it there, she's probably yeah. not missing it. No. Six minutes left to go in the half. 11-3, Kate. You know, it's interesting at the circle, too. A lot of contact. Somebody goes down. That ball could have gone either way. You don't mm -hmm. know what's going to happen. And uh, Kate comes up with it. Pushes the pace. Gets a nice shot off. They're going to keep Anna out there. Yep. Looks like Cape's got Macy, Lindsay, and Claire on attack. Long one. Ooh, ball gets knocked down. Nice D, Emily Bissaha. But goes out of bounds. Going to be Cape ball. Yeah, got to protect. Find the right passing lane. Looks like Landon Deal, Montana Jones, Lulu and Alley on defense. Lindsey, Claire, Macy, Haley, Avery, Amara, and Grace on offense right now for Cape. Can you say that three times fast, Julie? <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> well, back to Lindsey. She brings it up top. Claire over to Omar. Up top to Grace. She's looking for a step down. Shot goes wide. Claire there to back it up, brings it in. Feed in the middle. Didn't get that one off. Avery comes up with the ground ball. Haley's wearing number 24 today. I don't know if she had uh, Haley Gamasello's number 24. She's normally 19. Sometimes they have like a, a blood jersey. If somebody gets a you know cut and get some blood on their shirt or something, they got to switch it up. Lindsay looking for a cutter over to Claire. Claire comes right, pulls it back. Feet in the middle, shot in the score. Macy Steinwedel. Nice feed. Good looking play. Three thirty-six left to go in the half. Twelve-three, Cape. Claire surveying finds Macy on a nice cut. I mean, Cape's tough to stop. They can go from either side from behind the cage. They got a nice lefty feeder, nice righty feeder. 
A lot of options it's cutting down annoying. the alley. Most annoying things to try and save is a goalie. So your back is turned. John, we've got Aaron Morgan with us, hey former guys. Seahawk goalie. I've coached Aaron before. Aaron does a great job in the cage. Aaron, not going well for your Hawks today. Yeah, well, it's because I'm not out there. <laughs> Cape's got Is Grace it? and Lulu back out there on the circle with Maraid, switching it up a little bit. Round yeah. ball. Emily, nice pickup. Hawks nice. come up with it. Nice draw control. Shea Danahy's 18. Two is Elizabeth Layton. Elizabeth Merrick. Like Sussex Academy. Mm, double team, ball down. Yeah, they want to give Emily. That's a ward, isn't it? No. She can't push off like yeah, that. Yeah, it is. No? No. No, it's not. That would have been Sphere. Just Maybe stuck in the sphere. Headspace. Check yeah. before the ward. Chin music. Yep, yep. Getting a little physical Again. out there. They want to clear some space here for Shelby to go to her right side. There's a lot of people in the Shot. middle there. Nice save by Anna. Good save. It's like 22. Lily Bissaha playing a little offense for the Seahawks. She's normally a defender. Trying to keep some people fresh out there. Two minutes left to go in the half. Lulu puts it on the ground. Good day. Not sure. There was little contact going both ways there. I'm not sure what the call was. They call grace for bad intent. Not being very nice. Mm -mm. Meanie. <laughs> I would think the Seahawks would be content to just run some clock here. Yeah. You don't want to get yourself in the last two minutes of the half and have like a two-goal swing. Shot. Score. Nice. nice feed into the middle. Pretty play. Shelby Manlove with the goal. Shea Danahy. Shea Danahy with a nice feed. Shelby coming off the... Off the pick. She finished strong right where she wants it, too. Right-handed, right? Boom. That's tough to stop when she's got that that long a reach. She brought the tourniquet and stopped the bleeding. Yeah. Going to Richmond. Play some is that right? Her. She is. Yep. Nice school. Pretty down there. Yeah. I think she and uh, Grace Wiggins will be teammates. Well, actually, Grace is going there to play field hockey. Okay. Sorry, my bad. Little at the X. Back to Alley. Seahawks come up with no, it. This is another pickup. That's huge. Oh, but taken away. Alley deal. Alley deal serving chicken strips. Cape running downhill. Shot. Score. Very yeah. cautious. Is that a birthday hat? Yeah. I think it is. Do I see that Carrie's going to Tampa? Carrie is going to Tampa to play lacrosse. Great story, too. She had a knee injury a couple of years ago right mm -hmm. here on Cape's turf. Bounced back. Took a year off. You know, had to sit through all that. That's tough. Tough on the kids. She's, she was there every day, every practice. Now she's back having success. And going to a nice school. Yeah, nice Who and warm. Who wouldn't want to go to yeah. Tampa? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Alley comes up with it. Back up top to Lulu. <laughs> 
three sets of sisters on this Viking team. That's right. Landon and Allie. Allie just picked up that ground ball. She's got the ball right now. Lulu and Maraid. And the Lopez girls, Anna and Claire. They're setting up some sort of play right now. It's so fun. Five seconds left. Shot. Just wide. Nice look. And that's the end of the first half. At the end of the half, Cape 13, the Seahawks 4. The halftime show is brought to you by Coastal Towing. I just got new tires at Coastal Towing. They do it all there. Nice. You know what else they do? They sell firewood. I'm Don't. going by this weekend to pick up a big <laughs> thing of firewood from their front yard. $50. It should be on sale. It is. <laughs> We're almost out of the winter. Uh, well, no, we are just moving into outdoor living season. Oh, I got you. One of our sponsors, John, Creative Courtyards. All right. This time of year, it means it's time to move outside. Check out creativecourtyards.com to get inspired on your next outdoor living edition. You'll find yourself looking at your backyard and dreaming of the possibilities. Me, I'm thinking about an outdoor oven. Pizza year-round. Look, do you want to watch Netflix or do you want to watch Sunset and Stars? Creative Courtyards. They'll build yours like it was their own. We'll be back for the second half in just a couple of minutes.
No, we're always looking for your live class. Slay. Back here at Champions Field, getting ready for the third period. <laughs> About to draw. They went way too ham. I think they sh they shortened the half. Yeah. <laughs> Time here in the girls it's game. Friday night. I think the rest has somewhere to be. <laughs> Emily's having some success on the draw here. I would say the second quarter has been about 50% each. Not this one. Montana nice. with the ball. Nice ground ball pickup. It's tough when it's coming to that line. You know, you can't tell if it's going to go over. you yeah, got to reach yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. Need to Someone get those girls some shades. close yeah. that retractable roof. <laughs> Lindsay's hands free. Oh, nice save. That was a good save. Right, that was a good save. Seahawks going to take their time here, reverse it. Mm -hmm. Nope, go back. Nice job by the goalie. Quinn Nutter with the ball. Unlucky. Haley with the pickup. Oh, All by herself. Oh, and that's a good save. big save. Damn. Try it again. Not that time. That's a tough one. Carrie rejected, but wouldn't take no for an answer. Carrie made a nice stop there on that clear. They're having like a, a meeting over down there. Yeah, they That's need to talk neat. this over. Mm -hmm. Running clock because of a 10-point differential. I would say, um, hey guys, we're not dead yet. <laughs> Got to keep Get fighting. Get back in the water. That's it. Got to keep fighting. And then I'd start singing show tunes at him. But yeah. We're that, that, here for lacrosse, not for my hobbies. That always does it. Row, row, row your boat. Kate with the ball. Grace with a nice snag. Taking that first step off the circle is key. Getting body position in front of your opponent. That was a good one. Yeah, that got nice pick. Down. Nice pick by the goalie. Hard to see out there. I got to think it, that's a factor for the for the it, players. Stuff. Here come the Seahawks. Nice. Now they're at advantage. They don't got to look at the sun. Nope, that pass a little wide. Callie there to pick it up, though. Nice pick up. Keep possession. Is that Cape running the zone now, John? Cape has played his own in the past. I don't think that they're probably man to man. Looks like a yellow card on Amara Fruckman. Unlucky. Now, yellow cards are releasable on a, on a goal? No, hit to the head, two minutes. They could score here, and still two minutes. No, not releasable. Yep. Uh, does she have part of Mason's time share? Want to talk about it a little bit more? I think. Yeah. I think they're just making coffee plans for Saturday. Nine minutes left to go in the third period. <laughs> Referees getting ready to get restarted. So Seahawks on a power play here. Cape will play a six-person six zone on the defense. They'll slide and try to move, keep the ball out of the middle. Cape will just stay in their shell. Mm -hmm. 
And flag down. I think that was a foul. So that'll be a free possession shot. Mm -hmm. Free position, center hash, Front nice seven. angle. Mm -hmm. And is going to try to step, cut down the angle a little bit. Shot high. Mm -hmm. Cape there to back it up. Oh, and, and able. Good position on the defense. Cape will try to kill the power play here and just run the clock. Got to be smart with the ball, though. Nice pass. Really nice pass. Alley deal. It's a beautiful clear. Love me a good, beautiful clear. Alley gets it across midfield. Feeds it over to Lulu, gets it across the 30. That was like a basketball fast break. Yeah, it was. It'll be interesting to see. Will Cape just sit? One minute left on the power play. They'll probably try to run this out, I think. Sussex Academy should go try to double the ball. But Claire, but Claire. said no. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get lulled into thinking they're going to just sit on yeah. it. You know, yeah. Well, girls are ambitious. Penalty will remain. I think, the, I think the penalty remains, yeah. Two minutes. We'll still be man down. Running clock. So Cape's got three on defense, three on the circle, four over here. Clock at 7.30. All right. Little change in plan. It's going to be a running clock. Running clock. Running clock after all. difference. Seahawks got to win this one. Start making a comeback. Seven minutes in the third. 30 seconds on the penalty. Be Seahawk ball. Mm -hmm. I guess it uh, looked like Lulu might have jumped a little early there. Indeed. Sometimes you get set on that thing and, you know, you're just waiting for the whistle. Yeah. You twitch. <laughs> it's hard to keep still. Pass in the middle. The Nothing there. 15 seconds left on the penalty. So, so Cape will release in about 10 seconds here. They'll run somebody Callie. out of the box. Nice save by Anna. Good save by Anna. Penalty is released. Avery. On the restart. So you used to have to stop and the defender would have to go behind, but they don't have yep. to do that anymore. Nice pickup by yeah. number Avery. two. Elizabeth Layton. She's fast. Good recovery by Kate. Sides are even. Sides are even. Six minutes left to go, third period. Seahawks have the Bissaha sisters, Callie Short, Elizabeth Layton, Elizabeth Merrick, Shelby Manlove on offense, and Shay Danahy. Lulu gets the ball put on the ground. Recovered by the Seahawks. Flag down. So once the official puts that flag up, you have about a second to make a decision. If you shoot and the goalie makes a save or you score, it counts. If you don't, they'll call the foul. Okay. But she was outside of the 12 meter there, so that will not be a free position. This is an indirect. She's got to have a pass here. Feed into the middle. Okay, nice stop, Ann. Nice, nice catch by Danahy. Nice mm -hmm. finish there. I'd like to keep coming across the cage there. I'd like to see her use that left hand in that one. Avery with the behind the back check. Nice. Nice check. Lena Frederick on the pickup. Lena on three on one. But she gets a great clear that pass. That was good. Lindsay by herself. Ooh. Goldie gets a piece of it. 
Ball still on the ground. Lindsay comes up with it. Nice hustle play, Lindsay. I taught her that. Yeah. Yeah. Basketball. <laughs> Uh, she's been fighting for ground balls her whole life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a tough backyard right there. <laughs> Good old Lindsay's brothers, Mark, are uh, Hank and Luke. Hank and Luke. I'm sure they took it easy on her. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that hook pass. A lot of pipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lamar Fruckman on the nice cut, nice shot, but just couldn't get it in the net. Nice clear by Shelby. Shelby has been out there all game. Uh, she know. just showed a nice burst of speed right there. I know. She I'm, is in shape. I'm tired just watching. Yeah. Her. Shot. Nice shot. She likes to do Ooh, that little rocker step where she yeah. goes back to the left side but then spins right and as soon as she gets her hands free around the corner. She's launching it. Yep. Callie. Too much traffic. Shay. It's like going down Route 1 in the summer. <laughs> Too much traffic. Too much traffic. We got Bissaha down low with Callie Short now, trying to mix it up on offense, try to free some people up. Lulu on D. Falls on the ground. But Lulu had a bad look on her face when she did that, so give it back to Seahawks. Pissaha with the free position. Mm -hmm. Good hash for a lefty here. Yes. Although you got Grace Wiggins on there on your left side there. I don't know if you I've been on the receiving side of that. It's not fun. Nope. Good day, good hustle. Yeah, I'm surprised she got that through there. Callie looking. I think Anna might have got a piece on that. A piece of that. Anna's probably got six or seven saves already. Yeah. Seahawks have had some shots. Shot. Score. Nice Callie. Shot. Not to be denied. Two minutes left to go in the half. Third. What did I say? It's halftime. Halftime? Yeah. It's third. Third. Third <laughs> half. Eh, what are numbers anyway? <laughs> you get high enough, they don't exist anymore. Winding down the third period. Seahawks hoping to pick up some momentum here. Nice play by Callie. They got Anna Sullivan back in on the draw. Let's see what happens here. Cape is trying to stop the momentum. Wiggins and Fruckman for Cape. This high on the draw. Still being contested. It's going to be Savannah Montgomery. Nice ground ball pickup. Oh. Lindsay on the ride. Nice pickup by num number two, Elizabeth Layton. Oh. That's going to be. Lindsay gets a piece of that. Oh, oh. clean. Good defense. Seahawks, a couple nice checks there to win the ball back. They needed that. 17, I think, Elizabeth Merrick. Nice check. Sometimes you can just stop the momentum by going backwards, you know, and try to get in some mm -hmm. open passing lanes there. Sometimes you just got to not run into traffic. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left to go, third period. Macy Steinwettel on the overthrow. Little contact by 13. Macy gets it down the field to Claire. Claire takes a hit in the middle. And she's got to set this up quick. He used to used to get the free position automatically, even if the clock expired, but that rule Five no longer seconds. exists. Four, three, two. One shot. Nope. Goes high. You got to get that shot off. I don't even think it would have counted. I don't think it would have. At the end of three, your score. Cape 15, Sussex Academy 5. Sussex Academy is giving it all they got. They're hanging yeah, right in there. They, they are working hard. John, it's Masters weekend. DeChambeau still leading, did you notice? I, he and Shuffler were tied last I checked. Okay. I can't think of a better place to watch 
the Masters, and the Dewey Beach Country Club, the best sports bar in town. This weekend, it's going to be wings, cheeseburgers, and cheesesteaks when you stop in and visit with the extended Cape Lacrosse family. The Dewey Beach Country Club, where membership has no advantages. <laughs> Tell him Bob sent you. <laughs> I really did buy my tires from Coastal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this week. This week. And I'm really going for firewood on Sunday. <laughs> bonfire, am I invited? Yeah. Darn straight. You better have marshmallows. I wasn't thinking of the bonfire uh, firewood. I want a bonfire. Fourth period also brought to you by Monument Sotheby's International Realty, the Coastal Division. You may remember them as Ocean Atlantic. But now Ocean Atlantic has joined forces with Sotheby's. I've spoken about their terrific website, but you know they also have a Facebook page? It has the same beautiful photography that you've grown accustomed to, along with terrific updates about the local real estate market. Check it out, but make sure you give yourself some time because you're going to find yourself scrolling through some of the amazing properties they have listed for sale. Monument Sotheby's Coastal. Find them on Facebook. Lulu with the X. Maraid, and who else is out there? I think that's Allie Deal on the, on the uh, maybe Grace Wiggins. I'm sorry, 11. Grace. Yep, that's Grace. You got Savannah Montgomery. Uh... Looks like maybe she, oh no, that's Shelby on the circle with, with Grace. And then uh, Emily's taking the draw against Lulu. Grace comes up with it. Nice pick up. Now you gotta clear it here, here's the challenge. There you go. Get out of trouble. Lulu. Ball's on the ground. Right in front of the cage. Oh, that shot did, came close but didn't get fully in the stick. Nice D by number 17, Elizabeth Merrick. Lulu was going to try to blow by her there, and she, she read it pretty well. Claire behind the cage. <laughs> Lindsay, shot. Score. 24 is Haley Gamasello. That's Haley. Haley Gamasello from Lindsay. Haley takes a little backdoor cut here, dumps it to Lindsay, cuts hard behind. She's so quick, so deceptively quick. This first couple of steps, it's hard to stop her. John, you may have noticed on our graphics, you see a uh, teal-colored butterfly on a bunch of things. Today is the Morgan's Message game for the Cape Girls. Morgan's Message, an organization that focuses on mental health for student-athletes. Do a lot of nice events here in the Cape area. They were trying to host a indoor handball game this winter, but oh, nice. uh, the weather didn't, didn't cooperate. Pass in the middle. Lulu up top. Flips it to Lindsay. Nice She's by herself. Play. Yep. Shot and a score. Nice roll. Ten minutes left to go in the game. 17-5, Cape. Aaron, what would your advice be to the Sass goalie right now? Mm. Well, there's a lot of shots going in the tiny places. So, um, personally, based on what works for me best, um, moving more body parts and, like, using arms and legs. Because sometimes you can get a lucky ricochet off of a leg if it's in the right spot. And slow down a goal that you can't get with your stick quite because that ball moves fast. Those girls are very, very, very strong. That ball is moving fast. You're right. Lulu at the X. But, you know, zoning out and trusting some instincts sometimes helps. Oh, there's a push. Mm -hmm. Haley Gamacello. Good field awareness there on the line. Ball rolls over. She just snagged it, but she couldn't step over until she mm -hmm. had possession. Pass into the middle. Oh, nice. Shot and a score. Lulu. 
Who fed that to her? Did you catch I it? think it was Claire Lopez again. She's probably got six or seven from back there. Wow. There's Claire surveying. Lulu backdoor cut. Boom. As soon as she gets a step on you, it's tough those to stop. Are the, Somebody's those are the worst ones when they go over your head because there's nothing you can do other than jump. It's tough. It's tough. They're moving quick out there. Mm -hmm. 840 left to go in the game. 18-5. has a feeling of the, bo the boys game, Bob. <laughs> the fourth quarter of the boys game. Lulu with the ground ball. Lindsay looking. Settles on Claire. Feed into the middle. Ball's on the ground. She's trying to go to Goalie Closhes there. tries to come up with it. She gets goalie ball. Hard press on the goalie, too. Too much traffic. Too much traffic. Seahawks across midfield. Back in the day there, I think Coach PJ would have called spread yellow. They would have yeah. spread them right out. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when you're running around as a defender and you just can't even breathe anymore. Yep. Ball's on the ground. Seahawks come up with it. Nice pickup. Lily Bissaha to her sister. Allie Deal puts the ball on the ground. Nice day. Allie with a nice stop. Good contact defense. Anna clears it out to the side. Hannah Abel with the ball. Uh-oh. Mishandled, but comes up with it. Grace to Lena. Got to think the Seahawks are getting a little tired. Yeah. yeah. Got to be. John, would you say the uh, win against Tattenall kind of took a lot out of this team? It's definitely possible. I mean, they used a lot of energy to come back for that one. They did pull ahead by three or four, so, I mean, they, they solidified the win. There's a reason I chose to play goalie. I can't run. Lena with the ball, trying to work her way inside. Ball gets knocked out. Claire's there for it. Nice catch. Claire's got a shoulder turn, but decides no. Six minutes left to go in the game. Looks like they're uh, bringing in some new players for Cape, some fresh legs. Lindsay with a good ground ball. Would they get her for a ward? Mm, not sure. Quinn Nutter, nice clear. Can she make it? Nice, nice speed. Yellow card. Uh oh. <laughs> Lindsay with the, the lumberjack move. Mm. They'll get you every time. If you slash, swing that stick, and don't. Pull it back. They'll call the yellow. So it looks like Cape's man down for two minutes. Woman down. Power play. I love that. Power play for Seahawks. See if they can capitalize here. Quinn's going to stay. Quinn Nutter staying on offense. Callie short. Clearing some space. Uh-oh. No whistle there. Play. Nice job, Anna. Big save. Nice save, Anna. Out to land and deal. Mara. Macy Steinwittle in on attack. Looks like Cape's got Anna Sullivan, Lena Frederick, Macy Steinwedel, Claire, and Grace. Trying to kill this penalty here a little bit. Pass into the middle. No one can get a hold of it. 
Cape's going to maintain possession. 